just wanna put that in the sauna with your best friends. You don't wanna turn no more. Good morning, you guys. I am so exhausted this morning. It's currently like 5.45 a.m. I need to get my shit together. I need to get back into my routine because this video, I think, is going to be a little pre-filmed. So this is actually the beginning of January. I have been out of my routine for two weeks now <laughs> doing absolutely nothing, which is totally fine. It's normal to get out of your routine, especially during the holidays. And it's totally healthy too. You need breaks, you need to relax. It's crazy because after I take like a big break like this, I always feel so motivated to get back into the swing of things. And I get so excited because I can only be out of it for so long before I start to feel like shit, you know what I mean? Those days are definitely necessary to rest, but it gets to a point where I'm like, I need to get my shit back together now. I've been literally waking up at nine, 10 every day, and that just like doesn't make me personally feel good. So I'm just gonna be getting back into everything that makes me feel good. I'm gonna get back on my grind. I'm really excited, but I'm really tired because I woke up really early today. But yeah, I hope this gives you guys motivation to if you fell out of your routine, maybe get back into it but personally i just like i'm a routine girly and i love being in my routine that's when i feel the best that's what i love about taking time off is that it motivates me so much to get back into things afterwards too so i'm gonna do my full morning routine I haven't done that in literally two at least two weeks i just feel like this year has so much positive vibes and i know that this is gonna be a great year for all of us and as long as you have that mindset it will be a great year for you also the new year is that time where i feel like so many people put pressure on themselves like oh you have to have your shit together you have to become a new version of yourself you have to do this you have to do that but it's like it's not true only do that if you want to do that and if you're going through kind of a low period right now then that is totally fine too like just because it's a new year doesn't mean you need to completely reinvent yourself just a new year at the end of the day apparently the real new year is supposed to be in the spring or something like that i don't know but i heard that like it's supposed to be in the spring so that's why a lot of people don't feel motivated at the beginning of the year because technically in like astrology the way that things line up it's supposed to be in the spring i don't know how true this is at first i just wasn't kind of really feeling the new year's energy and i was like eh, kind of just feels the same and i wasn't i don't know just didn't hit me now it's hitting me like now i want to get back on my grind i made a bunch of goals and now i feel really good about it but you have any month of the year to reinvent yourself you guys or make goals like it does not need to be january so don't put so much pressure on yourself. Also, for Christmas break, I was basically pretty much staying at my parents' house the whole time because we just got a new puppy, so I was watching him. And that also just like put me so out of my routine on top of me already being on a break because when I'm there, I'm like eating unhealthy. Oh my God, you guys, my stomach over the break, it has been horrible. And so I'm hoping to just get my body back in alignment and I'm just really excited to start. <music> take one of these emergency things not because i'm feeling sick but it's like flu season right now and some of my family was sick over the holidays so i don't know just to be extra safe we're gonna just dose up on some vitamin c honestly i drink these for the taste like they're just so good and we're also gonna take my probiotics we made it to the gym. We're gonna go do a workout. It's gonna be good. The gym is probably gonna be so busy because you know like at the beginning of the year, if you guys go to the gym, you would know this, but at the beginning of the year, it's always so busy because people make all these New Year's resolutions that they're gonna go to the gym. And then the gym is like so packed for like the first couple weeks of January. And then people stop coming and then it doesn't, it's not as packed anymore. But it's like seriously a thing where like the first like couple weeks of January, the gym is jam packed. And then people don't really stick to their resolutions. And, and then it ends up going back to normal, but it's so funny. Even in my apartment gym, I saw that it was so packed. And I'm like, holy shit, I've never seen this many people in the gym before, it was crazy. But anyways, let's go do our workout. It's a new year, baby. New year. Oh! <gasps> okay.
So I finished up at the gym so happy I got that workout done like it's only 8 30 and I have done my whole morning routine which is a very big change from waking up at like 10 o'clock it's gonna depend on what works for you and what makes you feel good but for me personally I love waking up early and getting all my shit done in the morning it just makes me feel good but I am just gonna stop at the drugstore right now I'm here because I just need to get a few things that I've been running out of because I haven't really done anything or been shopping in a while so I need to get like some cotton rounds my cellar water um a new mascara just like random things like that um that i need to stock up on so let's go okay just got home so we got the essentials i got toothpaste waxing strips and then cotton pads because those are just like essential things that i use glad i got that so now we're gonna go in now and i'm gonna show you guys a workout set haul this workout set that i'm actually wearing today is from halara so i'm gonna um do a haul for you guys next i'm coming at you with a halara try on haul if you guys haven't heard of them then you've been living under a rock because they went so viral on tiktok and i've seen their stuff everywhere but i finally got to try it out and they're sponsoring this video they sent me some sets to show you guys and i also have a coupon code they did not fail to impress i have been wearing their sets now at the gym for a few weeks and i love them so much i put these leggings on my instagram and so many people messaged me they're like oh my god where did you get those and i was like don't worry you guys i got you they are just so flattering. I've always wanted leggings with like a V like this since they went viral. They live up to the hype because they're just so flattering. They also have like pockets here on the side. Open back is just so flattering on this top and I've never seen anything like it. The material of their leggings, they just make them so flattering and they range from a size XS to a size 4X. So they have so many sizes and they're completely squat proof. Let me show you guys. So they're completely squat proof. Don't worry, I've been doing squats with them at the gym, so we're good. They're just so flattering, form-fitting. I love the pockets here. Such a good addition, but they're so like seamlessly integrated with the legging. That's so nice. They are just like the softest leggings and like material ever. These are going to be like my new everyday leggings. I'm obsessed with them. The material is just beyond good, especially for the price point. When I saw the price point, I'm like, mm, like is the material going to be good? But holy shit, they're so good. They're like literally like butter soft and they're so comfortable, so nice. And these are like the leggings I prefer to work out in are ones that are really nice and buttery soft rather than like the some companies use like that workout material i don't even know how to describe it but it's more rough i hate that so much okay here are the next set here these are so cute i don't have anything like them they're kind of like a denim wash legging but they're so cute i love them i just paired it got this white um cross back with this set and i think that this is so cute i'm in love with the open back but yeah i love how these are veed as well and they also have a like you see how this goes down into a v here it like it's meant to accentuate your butt to make it look bigger so that's always nice i also just feel like having this like v here really just like accentuates your curves you know what i mean so freaking stretchy and so comfortable completely squat proof okay so these are their color block leggings they're so cute don't mind myself a little pop of color. I can't emphasize enough how comfortable their workout stuff is because like I said, I'm very picky with what I choose to work out in. I like to look good when I work out and I also like to be comfortable. So when you get those two together, it's like perfect for me. I got everything in an extra small, by the way, so just for reference. But here's the back. I'm just like obsessed with this freaking open back again in the green. So cute. And what I really like about their waistbands too is that they're really nice and tight. They're still really comfortable, like they're really stretchy, but they kind of like hold everything in. Okay, this is the last set that I got. These ones just have like a regular waistband, but their waistbands, even though it's not like a V, it's still so flattering and it fits like so nicely. It's so comfortable. The material is so freaking soft and just like buttery. And then they also have this line here, which is nice for the butt like, once again. <laughs> And yeah, I think that the seam here too is super, super flattering. And this top is not open back, just like a regular one. So if you don't want the open back vibe, this is perfect. 
But yeah, honestly, I'm just obsessed with them and I want to get everything on their website because everything just fits so nicely. They have so many sizes, so many freaking colors to choose from. But anyway, so yeah, if you guys want to shop any of these pieces or anything from their website, it'll all be linked down below and you guys can use my code MikaelaB20 for 20% off. So thank you again to Halara for sponsoring this video. And yeah, make sure to check everything linked down below. One thing that I just wanted to talk about is your mindset. Your mindset is so important if you want to live a happy life. Because thinking about a Monday, like today is Monday. It's like, oh, you have the whole week of work ahead of you or you have the whole week of school ahead of you or whatever it is. It's like it can be daunting. It can be something you don't want to do. And it's so easy to just kind of look at the negative side of things and just kind of focus your attention on that. And then that makes you not want to even wake up the next day which is actually pretty sad that like a lot of us don't even enjoy our day to day but a lot could be changed with your mindset and a lot could be manifested with your mindset and so if you just try and do a simple little mindset change instead of saying like oh i'm dreading tomorrow because it's monday you can say something like oh i'm so excited i get a brand new week tomorrow is going to be an amazing day like just put positive affirmations in your head go in the day with a positive mindset only focus on the positive things about your day and do little things within your day to romanticize your life and those are the little things that you can look forward to every day that can help you with that positive mindset so for example getting a coffee or just going out to a cafe like just little things like that you can do that can really elevate your mood like i'm looking forward to going to get a starbucks before i go grocery shopping and so it motivates me even more just like little things like that i swear make the biggest difference overall and we shouldn't have to dread that we're here and living our lives you know what i mean like we dread going into mondays we dread the new week because it's a whole new work week and whatever and we look forward to fridays and blah 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 monday is just the beginning of the week it's just a name of the a day and it all starts up here like everything starts in your head and in your mindset and by doing that you can also manifest like i said so many amazing things into your life by just having that positive mindset and things will literally begin to switch overnight for you so that's like one part of getting back into my routine is like maintaining that positive mindset throughout the week at the beginning of the week and because it just helps me really love my life and no matter what you do every day it's important to have a positive mindset when i first watched the secret it really motivated me to have this positive mindset and all of that and i used to work at a restaurant at the time and i didn't really like my job at all i was dreading every single shift i had and after watching the secret and everything about the law of attraction and your mindset and how powerful it is that like literally flipped a switch in me and the next day i went to work even though i hated it i had such a positive mindset going into it it was the best shift of my life because i was only focusing on the positive things seriously a game changer and you guys need to know and remember that you have control of your mindset and one time when i talked about something similar somebody commented and was like oh it's easy for you to say because you love your job and whatever but i didn't start here i didn't get my dream job overnight i had to work for it i started from the bottom i was like i said i was literally working at a restaurant in school and i made it happen because i switched my mindset and i realized that i can do anything i set my mind to i started having so much gratitude i looked at the positive things so it's easy to look at people and think that whatever they have like it happened overnight Just just know that everybody has to start somewhere. Just got to the grocery store. I ended up putting a hat on because my hair just was not cooperating. So we're gonna go grocery shopping now. I have a list on my phone with a bunch of things that I need, so we'll see. But I also just need to get so much shit. Definitely gonna be an expensive haul, but that's fine because I literally haven't been in like three weeks to a month, like a long time. I'm kind of dreading getting out of the car because I know it's gonna be such a long time, but like I'm just procrastinating right now. So I just have to go. And there's also a Starbucks right beside this Whole Foods. So I'm definitely gonna get a Starbucks afterwards just so I don't have to like carry it around with me in the store. And it will just be easier that way than I can drink it on the way home. So let's go. <laughs>
so I just finished shopping and I got myself an iced pistachio latte it's actually pretty good and I definitely need this because I was crashing today earlier and I felt so tired because I woke up at 5 so this is gonna help me like do the rest of my tasks for the day because I still have a lot to do so I just got home I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul in a bit but we need to clean out the fridge first because it is so bad it literally smells so we're gonna start by cleaning that out and then we can put all the fresh groceries inside because that just makes obviously the most sense I just don't like putting fresh groceries in a dirty fridge it just doesn't seem right to me we're gonna clean out the fridge first and then i'll give you guys a grocery haul and you get the gist so here is a little before of the fridge pretty sure this arugula is so bad i'm pretty sure that's what's smelling in here oh my goodness that is disgusting it's like hard ew okay this is getting cleaned out i'm just gonna turn it off let's clean it grocery haul and i got so much shit start off over here i just got some meats for dinner got some cheese and then i got some turkey and tofu and then i got some bagels broccolini tomato bread eggs um, a whole bunch of salad and spinach i got this dressing to try out it's a balsamic and it looks really good cucumbers sweet potato avocado lemons ginger banana tortillas apples sausages turkey bacon butter and then i also got a couple bags of chips that are not here i wanted to keep it extra healthy especially since we're starting off the new year i want to make um health one of my priorities for this year so i'm gonna start making like green smoothies every morning and stuff so i kind of stocked up on like the stuff for that as well <music> Okay, you guys, so the next thing that I really want to do in order to get back into my routine is make a green smoothie every morning because I used to do this and I used to even juice sometimes in the morning, but I fell out of that habit and out of doing that. But having something green in the morning, it honestly just makes me feel really good because I know that it's like getting a lot of nutrients in. So we're going to start that today and do a green smoothie and I'm going to show you guys the recipe that I'm using. I actually just found this off of YouTube, so we're just going to be following following a specific recipe like i'm not going to make anything up but it's a really healthy smoothie it has spinach cucumber ginger lemon banana date it sounds like it's going to taste disgusting so we'll see but as long as i'm getting my nutrients in with it and it tastes mediocre like i'm fine so let's make it okay so i'm just gonna make this now i will have the full recipe linked down below as well but i'm also gonna put the measurements on the screen so either write it down copy paste it whatever but actually don't do that before i test it out to see if it's good <music> Okay, the smoothie is all in here. Now I'm just gonna blend um, and I'm just gonna put it on the smoothie setting, but just blend it until it's smooth. I don't know why I'm so nervous to try this, probably because it has like cucumber and ginger and lemon in it, which I've never ever put that in my smoothies before. Okay, we're just gonna suck it up, try it. Oh my God, that's actually like genuinely really good. Wow. I'm like not even lying right now. I'm 10 out of 10 impressed. Like this is really good for what it has in it. I can taste a slight hint of ginger, but it's really, really creamy. Just make sure that you blend it for enough time because I literally had it on the blender for like three minutes to make sure it was really smooth. So I feel like that's also the key. Mm. No, like that's, I swear to God, that's like really good. 10 out of 10 would suggest. This is like the perfect morning smoothie. This is actually so good. I'm impressed. Cheers to that. Wanna pull up on your hands, I get the bad man You just wanna pull up in the sun with your best friends You don't wanna turn no more, I'm riding in the 